Hello everybody! My name is Jakurza, and welcome to another art journal video. I want to take a moment to remind everybody, including myself, that it is okay to play. It is okay to just experiment with our art supplies. It is okay to not make an amazing finished piece of art worthy of being displayed on our walls. And let's be frank here. Sometimes we're even going to make ugly art. And that's okay too. In fact, I think that it's necessary to play and risk making ugly art to get better at art, period. It's how we learn. We have to make those mistakes. And what we might consider ugly art, somebody else might love. So let's stop worrying about making perfect art and learn to enjoy the process of creating it instead. I make art because I enjoy it. It helps me to escape all of the rules of the world around me. To just be free and do what I want, how I want, and express myself in a creative form. With that being said, this is my art journal. My playtime. My adventures with art supplies. Today is a watercolor play day for me. I don't use my watercolors very much because I'm not very good with them. I like watercolors, but I find them very unpredictable. They don't always do what I want them to do, and I find them hard to control sometimes. But I want to get better with them, and that means I have to play, experiment, see how I can make them work for me. I'm using Prang watercolors here and mixed media paper, so not exactly top quality watercolor supplies. But this is what I have, and to get better with them, I need to practice. To keep from feeling stressed out trying to make something amazing with the watercolors, I decided to keep it simple. I scribbled some lines on the paper with a black Sharpie marker, and proceeded to fill each section in with different colors. I had to keep in mind that I need to let an area dry before adding color to the next section next to it, or else I run the risk of the colors mixing into each other. And speaking of colors running into each other, that is the first thing I tried, blending different colors together to create a gradient effect. Sometimes I had to use more paint than I thought initially to get the punch of color I was looking for. Other times, I needed more water to get the gradient to work. That led me to playing with gradients from dark to light using the same color of paint. And what happens when I dab this color into that one? Or that color into this one? I played with drawing stripes into the wet paint as well. I noticed during this process that there are certain colors that I just never really seem to use. They are practically untouched paint wells. So let's try those too. It made me think, why don't I use these colors? Like the peachy colors, or the black and the dark brown. I love using black, so why am I not using the black watercolors more? This is the perfect opportunity for me to play with them again on a page where I'm not restricted to using just a certain color palette. I can use every single color I have, all on the same page if I want to. I mean, how awesome is that? This is a play page. I don't need to worry about messing it up. So just play. Some of the sections I thought turned out really nice in the end. Other sections... I didn't really care for. But I think because I went into this with a mindset that I was playing and not trying to create a masterpiece, it doesn't bother me that I didn't create something amazing. This is my art journal, a place where I play with art supplies. This won't be something I hang on my walls, but I had fun and I got to learn more about my art supplies in the process. I call that a win. My message to myself and anybody else out there that wants to create some art is to just 
do it. Don't worry if it isn't perfect. Call it all playtime if that helps. We won't get better if we don't even start. So play, experiment, learn, and grow from it. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.